Good morning. morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's try this. Jesus Christ is risen. risen Yes, indeed. It's still true. We are in the season of Easter, and uh, this is just the just the very beginnings of it, really. The season of the resurrection, but you may have noticed that we're taking a different sort of spin around that today, that feast of the resurrection. It's confirmation. We've got six younger saints affirming their baptism today, and we get to feast with them. They are going to say yes to the promises that were made on their behalf by their parents and their sponsors, oh, a couple of years ago. How old are you guys? Anyway, you don't have to tell us. But boy, back then, they are, their families made promises on their behalf, and they are saying yes to those promises today and to claim their faith life more fully. The lessons we will hear from God's Word are the lessons that they chose as their passages, their theme verses. I will quote from their faith statements today as in, in the message. Um, and the creed that we'll be using today, they developed with their classmates over at Zion, who, is, who are also celebrating confirmation today, and their younger classmates, one of whom is playing drums for us this morning. And they will serve us communion and lead us to the reception in their honor down in Fellowship Hall. So while this is very much their day, this is also our day as a community in Christ to celebrate our shared, our shared faith in the risen one, because Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. So you are all welcome to this celebration in here, out there in Facebook land, YouTube land, on the radio. Your welcome is inclusive and unconditional, and that includes to the Lord's table this morning. One of the stories of our risen Lord, one of the Easter stories, tells of the experience of two of Jesus' followers on the evening of the resurrection, where they encounter Jesus on their road home. He teaches them the risen truth and sets their souls on fire. The confirmation class chose that praise song to start our celebration today. Soul on fire, as you are able, would you rise together?
of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will cleanse us from all our sins and from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you join together with me in our prayer of the day? Almighty and ever-living God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to what lies ahead, we may follow the way of your commandments and receive the crown of everlasting joy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Just one more 
These readings are the Confirmans' theme verses. They chose these with the help of their mentors several months back. Max, 1 Peter 4, 8, Above all, love each other deeply. Aaliyah, Ecclesiastes 7, 13, Who can make straight what God has made crooked? Grady, Judges 16, 28, Lord God, remember me. And strengthen me. Annabel, Matthew 5, 43 to 48. You have heard it that it was said, Love your friends, hate your enemies. But I tell you to love your enemies and pray for those who, persecu who persecute you, so you may become the children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun to shine on good and bad people alike, and give rain to those who do good and to those who do evil. Why should God reward you if you only love the people who love you? Even the tax collectors do that. And if you only speak to your friends, what, have you done anything out of the ordinary? Even the pagans do that. You must be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Joe, Matthew twenty-five thirty-five. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. Ethan, John 1, 17. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. The lessons for today. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Parents, I invite you, parents of younger children, I invite you to bring your younger ones up to the playground for today's children's message. Come up with them until they can get comfortable being up here on their own. COVID has kept us from having the kids come up. So parents, bring your kids up. Parents, bring your little kids. Parents, bring your little kids. Yes, that means you. Parents, bring your kids up to the, to the playground so they can get used to coming up here on their own. So help your, your young folks explore this faith space this morning. See what's going on there. Meet some other youngsters that are already inhabiting that space. It's been such a long time since we've had youngsters up in front. It's going to take a little retraining to, to, to make it happen. But... Instead of rooting around, in, in, I, I, this is a fun place to be, but I want to get your attention and move you over so you can come up here anytime during the day, anytime during worship. But for right now, I need you to walk over this way, and I want to introduce to you six young people over here. And uh, just come on over, come on over here, come on over here and meet these, these people. Now you may notice that they're kind of dressed really fancy, aren't they? They got ties on, and, 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 and they got this little flower thing going on here. It's a very special day for them. Because just like you, once upon a time, they were baptized. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. They were littler than you but they were probably as little as you when you were baptized. They're just like you, only a little bit older. Yes, come and say hello to these, to these people. They have been learning about Jesus just like you have. Cool. And today, they're taking on a little bit more of the work of learning about Jesus on their own. It's kind of let, their parents might still help them a little bit, but mostly it's going to be up to them. And we call that confirmation. Can we all say confirmation? Confirmation. confirmation. They're, yes, they're saying yes. Can you say yes? yes? Yes to their baptism, just like someday maybe you will too. So I want you to pray for them. So if I could get all the kids that are up here 
Come on, Hamilton kids, I need you over here. Any other kids that are up, I need just, let's form a circle around them here. Go behind them. And if the kids can't do it, then maybe some adults need to come down. Are there sponsors? Are there mentors here from confirmation? Why don't you guys come down too? And let's, let's form a ring around these confirmation students. There we go. You guys, if the sponsors, if you, the mentors, if you want to go in behind them, there we go. So let's pray for them. Would you repeat after me? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For baptism. For baptism. Help us all grow. Help us all grow. In your love. In your love. Including. Including. Aaliyah and Annabelle. Aaliyah and Annabelle. Ethan and Grady. Ethan and Grady. Joe and Max. Joe and Max. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for coming up. And parents, you can be with the, your students in the playground anytime you want. Thanks for bringing them down. Confirmands. It's kind of an odd word. But it's you guys, the three of you, and together with the rest, I want to share a quote from one of my favorite authors, a guy by the name of Richard Rohr. He's talking about Easter, and we're in the season, so, but this, it just fits so well. Father Rohr writes, Friends, the Easter feast is a reminder to all of us to open our eyes and our ears to witness what is happening all around us, all the time, everywhere. God's one and only job description is to turn death into life. That's what God does with every new springtime, every new life, every new season, every new anything, he writes. God is the one who always turns death into life. And then he quotes Psalm 20, 25, and no one who trusts in this God will ever be put to shame. Confirmants, you have been doing just that these past few months in C and C, con confirm, not conform, that learning journey that we've been on, that we've shared, and not the least in these past weeks, as you've moved even further beyond those lessons to put your own mark, literally, on the walls of this place, your own mark on this day, your own mark on your faith. And that evidence of that mark is ample. Your posters that adorn our worship space. The rest of you need to know the mark that they have been having. Their dreams and suggestions for our church have been posted on an easel in our entryway for a couple of months now, and they remain there for your consideration and for our leadership to think about as well. The food drive that they planned for Second Harvest, only now on Thursday, wrapped up as the staff from Second Harvest uh, when they were here for their annual, for their uh, monthly mobile food bank, they picked up that food and uh, took it to the food bank. The saints of this class have been volunteering in the church and around town as their faith has taken on legs and heart and passion. By design, in C and C, the confirm not conform program. This year, more than many, has been a time to walk together in an exploration of what faith and Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, what they are, but particularly and specifically to these students. Their mentors, pastors, myself and CJ and Pastor Joy, youth workers and other volunteers have walked with them in, an, in that attempt to make all of this real for them so that it can be real through them. They are aware that this is a work in progress, and they've claimed that reality, most of them as well. They know they're not done, that God still has some explaining to do. God has some guidance to provide and some hope and love to empower them with. And they have a sense, every one of them, 
and one that the rest of us would do well to emulate, to, to copy, to join in with, and to think about with them. They have a sense that God is not done and that together we all can continue to grow in God. Now for Grady, this God is the God who he trusts, who he trusts that will remember him and strengthen him with a faith that will help him show others how much they mean to Grady and how much he can do to help with good in the world. The promises he makes today will help him show how much he loves God, how much God, Jesus, means to him and empower him to help others. As he wrote, I love God and I feel he will always have a place in my heart. For Max, his faith means he can trust in the community of God's faithful people to help him find his role. And in God, he will find the strength to live that out. Living his faith, he said, will remind him of God's word and power and connect him to others and guide how he helps others with kindness to all. That's a quote from Max as he responded to the question, how can what God is doing in and through you make this world a better and more loving place? Max wrote, it can spread kindness through others and then they can share their kindness. For Joe, it's an abiding trust that God is keeping his promises without discrimination and that being surrounded by God's faithful people will help shape Joe's purpose. He trusts that he can be put in places that will help him find his calling, and that God will give him confidence for whatever will be the big part of his life. As he wrote, I believe that God can use me to make other people's lives better and easier. God can use me to guide others. Aaliyah found that same strength in the promises she's making today and in her theme verse, strength to help others, strength to trust God, and to be involved in the pursuit of peace and justice for all people. She is confident, as she said, that God will help her do whatever it is that she was made to do, unquote. Her brother Ethan finds himself shaped by the Holy Spirit as he wrote, quote, I trust that the Holy Spirit will guide me through my faith journey. That trust in God extends to encouraging his respect for others and to build the quality of his relationships. His verse is a source for that encouragement. For Annabelle, all these steps are steps in finding her own path. Now that path might include helping others find their way, even if, as she says, they don't know it. Her verses and her promise are guiding her towards serving others and living out a love as she said, for every soul, no matter what their beliefs. She believes that God can use her to help others love her and each other, no matter what. Whether or not, as she said, whether or not they are friends, enemies, or even strangers. These are faith journeys worth celebrating, brothers and sisters in Christ, family and friends to these confirmants. And the six of you, your journeys are worth celebrating but they are by no means complete. Faith is a lifelong adventure. That much is clear in all of this. Jesus comes into our lives and sometimes we acknowledge it, sometimes we don't notice it, sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, depending on the seasons of our lives, our circumstances, and where our hearts are, or where our, our lives are. But as Richard Rohr said, God is always around turning death to life, to open our eyes and our ears, to witness what is happening all around us, all the time, everywhere. That's what God does with every new springtime, Father Orr said, every new anything, including, I would add, this new moment right here. So, confirmands, that is what God's love as so many of your theme Bible passages remind us, that is what God's love is doing, and that love of God is not done doing with you. So, you six, together with the rest of us, can be encouraged to be valiant and vociferous voices and visible reminders of our world, in our world, for our world, of God's powerful love. So, we can sing together the Sunday school song you picked, rooted in what the Bible tells us so, so we all can keep on learning what love means for each of us and for all of us. Jesus loves me.
This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Confirmation class, I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, to reject sin, and to confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? Invite the assembly to rise and join in the creed that this class has written. Do you believe in God the Father? We believe in God, the everlasting, boundless creator of everything. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? We believe in Jesus Christ, a son, who is our connection between God and people. We believe Jesus died on the cross to forgive our sins and that Jesus believes in us just as we believe in him. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit and its work? We believe in the Holy Spirit as an unseen, formless embodiment of God who forgives sins and spreads the word of God through us. We believe in the church as a safe place of worship and gathering of people where we can talk about worship and feel close to God. We believe in the mystery of faith and a faith grounded in hope and promise where we can struggle and learn together. Amen. The assembly may be seated. You have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear God's word and share God's supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of our Lord Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help me, God Jesus. Please kneel. Will the parents and baptismal sponsors for Max Foster please rise? Above all, love each other deeply. 
Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Max Allen Foster the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Will the parents and sponsors for Aliyah Lindgren please rise? Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Aliyah Cheng Ti Lingren the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Amen. The parents and sponsors for Grady Knutson, please rise. Lord God, remember me and strengthen me. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Grady Cole Knutson the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Will the parents and sponsors for Annabelle Scolden please rise? it was said, love your friends, hate your enemies. But now I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Annabelle Deborah Scolin the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. The parents and sponsors for Joe Robinson, please rise. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Joseph John Robinson the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Parents and baptismal sponsors for Ethan Lindgren, please rise. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth. Cleanse us from sin and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Ethan Paul Lindgren the gift of your Holy Spirit the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. The class, please rise. Invite the assembly to rise together with us. Let us rejoice with these sisters and brothers in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take some time and share God's peace with one another.
<laughs> Peace of the Lord. I'll call you guys up. The WKLK radio broadcast today is brought to you in celebration of 36 years of married life by Peggy and Bob DeCaney. Thank you to them for that ministry donation. Thanks to all of you who are here today for your support today and throughout their lives of these students. Through your prayers and the CNC commitment that we made together as a congregation last fall, through your support of the mentor program, especially those of you who are mentors, not just for this class, but for the next group as well. Scott and Jill Elwood, Pastor Joy, Katie Keller, Josh Bailey, Bill Schlenvold, Sandy Hill, Marty Rye, and Rich Krikova. There will be a new crop of students starting next fall who will be needing mentors. So be watching for that opportunity to support that learning population with that kind of ministry. As this is the kind of thing we do together, to lovingly live out our Savior's mission to know Christ and to have others know Christ. Your prayers of support make that happen. Your ideas make that happen. Your service in many and various ways make that happen. Your leadership makes that happen. Your faithful financial support makes that happen. So for all of that, thank you and God bless. Now, we will be blessing the offerings, all of those offerings, in a moment in our prayers. But in the meantime, thank you again. And thank you, too, for your donations that made the Easter lilies possible again this year. You are welcome to take one home or deliver one or more to someone you think may enjoy having it. Uh, if they live in a... In, in, um, a living arrangement, a corporate living arrangement, you might want to check with that institution beforehand because sometimes the pollen from the Easter lilies can be a bit overwhelming to those with allergies. But feel free to, to take them home. We've even planted them in our garden in the past, and sometimes they even come up. So anyway, um, thanks, uh, thanks to those of you who, who provided those for us. They seem to be at their peak this week, so uh, take one home and enjoy it. I invite you to please to keep our Northeastern Minnesota Synod in your prayers as voting members, including from our Saviors, meet in assembly next weekend to do the work that we can only do together. Synod means working together. And together with 130 other congregations in this region, that is exactly what our Saviors does. So keep us in prayer as we meet to plan another year of mission and ministry together. I'll be there in person. Kareem Campbell is attending from our congregation via Zoom. And we have one more spot already registered. Needs to be a male volunteer for that, to either in person at Cragen's Resort near Brainerd or via Zoom. Talk to me after worship if you can serve in that capacity. Let it be known, you are hereby invited to cake and such, coffee and such, in an honoring reception for these young saints who have affirmed their baptism today, down in Fellowship Hall, immediately following this worship. The class will lead you down. A couple of prayer concerns that I'd like you to hold in your hearts today as well. Please keep in your prayers the family of Trudy Stahl. Her memorial visitation will be at Atkins Funeral Home tomorrow evening from 5 to 7. I just learned this morning that a longtime member here, Millie Luter, passed away near the end of last week. If you would keep her family in your prayers, we have yet to hear details of any memorial services for her. Also, one other prayer request, kind of the other end of the, of the spectrum this, uh, this morning, a uh, young cash is going to be baptized later today. Please keep him and his parents and Shauna in, and his godparents in your prayers as he begins his faith life today. May children and heirs of God's promise, we pray for the church, the world, and all in need.
Blessed are you, Lord our God, maker of all things. Through your goodness you have blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us and what we have gathered in feeding the world with your love through the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, maker of all things. You have spoken by your spirit and word into the hearts of the young saints who have affirmed their baptisms today. Bless that word in Max, Celia, Grady, Annabelle, Joe, and Ethan. Bless these confirmants who learned with us who are affirming their faith at Zion this morning. May their awareness of your love, your steadfastness, your strength, your guidance, your goodness, your welcome, and your grace continue to empower their lives of service and enable their journeys of an ever-growing faith. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, maker of all things. We praise you for the new life your resurrection means for all the world. Help us to be the valiant and vociferous voices and visible reminders to our world of this powerful love. Where there is fe fear, help us bring courage. Where there is doubt, help us bring understanding. Where there is pain, help us bring comfort. Be with those who need your healing in any way this day, including those we know and name in our hearts before you. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, maker of all things, to a, wound, a wounded world that threatens violence and then delivers it, use us to bring your peace. To a divided world that markets fear and sells it cheap, use us to bring your hope. To an ecologically ravaged world that could be healed, use us to bring transformation. You have given us all we need to be the healers of all creation. Let your resurrection and restoration that will of yours be done among us. Encourage all the leaders of your church, here at Our Saviors, over at Zion with Pastor CJ, in our synod with Bishop Amy, churchwide with Bishop Elizabeth. All leaders in all denominations and religions, bless us all with your guiding spirit. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. Receive these prayers, O God, and those in our hearts known only to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who as we come before you and stand together as we are able, teaches us again to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, so that in the joy of the Holy Spirit we praise your name. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this to remember me. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You may be seated. 
All who hunger and thirst come. In the fish crackers, there's a reminder of God's love and forgiveness for the youngest of our assembly. Please, sure, be, please be sure to tell your confirmant uh, server which uh, your young person would get to either the communion or the, the, the fish crackers. The inner ring of each wine tray is a lighter colored liquid that's grape juice. You are free to take your own choice of that as the, as the blood of Christ for this Celebration. If you need gluten-free, that will be served at the station on the pulpit side of our sanctuary today. All who hunger and thirst, come. This is the story of God's gift in Jesus to us, and the table is ready.
Would you rise together with me as we pray our blessing prayer upon this communion? Pray with me. Lord of life, in the gift of your body and blood, you turn the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance of your love in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. People of God, you are Christ's body, bringing in new life to a suffering world. The Holy Trinity, one God, bless you now and forever. Amen. Before our final song, we're going to return to an old tradition. Well, it's not that old, but we haven't been able to do it for a while because of, you know, the C word. Um, But our confirmation students, our now new confirmants, are going to lead the youngest among us in the recessional And as the song is sung, the kids process inside the church a couple of times, and then the confirmation students will lead us down. There are streamers and there are shakers, um, little kids, big kids, kids of all ages. You're welcome to join in this closing processional to the tune of This Little Light of Mine. The living word dwells richly in you. Thanks be to God. Come on down for cake and cake in Fellowship Hall.